Hello everybody, this is Ice. Welcome to another video. And today I have a new 1.7 map making concept involving the new commands implemented in 13w37b. Now, as you saw in the demo, we can now basically detect certain structures. So, if we take a look at that again, put our diamond around, let's just put a gold block here to test it out. If we put in on that same pattern, as you can see, nothing happens. But if we put in the exactly correct pattern, as you can see, the door will open, and we get diamonds, and we can go down and do whatever the heck we want. Now, this sounds like it would be a fairly complicated thing, but I've actually written an MC Edit filter to do it, as I said. And yeah, let's take a look at the redstone. And you can already see that there isn't really much of it. Um, this was all, or almost all, generated by an MC Edit filter that I wrote, and I will be demonstrating that filter at the end of the video. Now basically what's happening here is this entire thing is a gigantic AND gate, which means that if all of these comparators are on, then these torches here will turn on. Each of these command blocks and comparator setups represents a test for block command. And now you might be getting my groups about how this works. It's just a bunch of test for commands linked to an AND gate, that go into command blocks. As you can see, these ones will just give us some diamonds, say that the shrine is grateful, and break a circuit to open a piston door. Now, this could do anything you could ever imagine. It doesn't have to open a piston door and give you diamonds. But with that said, hopefully it's fairly easy to understand the redstone. As you can see, these command blocks are hooked, hooked up to a clock, so that they will always be updating. With that said, I am now going to show you how to use the filter. Um, we are going to be trying it out on an object that I'm about to show you. Alright, this is the tr structure we're going to be testing for right here. Nothing too fancy, however, you could make something as big as you want and they would still be able to create redstone for it. As you can see, we are in 13w37b. It will only work in later 1.7 snapshots. Yeah, let's hit into mcedit and have a look at the filter. Okay, so here we are in mcedit. Now what you're going to do is you're going to start by opening up your world. Once you're in here, then you're going to select the entire structure that you want to be tested for, if you will. So we're just going to select it all the way around. And now we're going to run the filter, so you're going to go into Filter, and ISIS Test for Structure Filter, that's the name. And now you'll see something that looks a little bit like this. It'll look a little bit different depending on your MC edit, but you know, that's how it works. Now the first three numbers are X offset, Y offset, and Z offset. This is how far away the redstone will be generated from your initial structure. Now I like to generate my redstone just far above, nothing too fancy, so I'm going to generate my redstone 30 blocks above and at the same x and, y, x and z axis. Next we have max command blocks in row. Now this is just kind of the shape of the redstone, so if you were to set this to 1, it would just be a long skinny li list of them. If you were to set it to a higher number, then it would be just one row. We're going to set it to 3 though, since we are testing for eight blocks. Next we have include air. That's pretty self-explanatory. If you don't check this box, it will just ignore these four air blocks right here. Finally, wiring block. This is just the block we're going to build the redstone out of, so we'll do it out of wooden planks. I don't know. And now you're done. You can hit filter, and let's take a look. As you can see, up here we've generated a little bit of redstone. Nothing too overly complex but you're not quite done yet. In order to make it work, you have to do something else, and we're going to head back into Minecraft and check that out. Okay, so once we're back in Minecraft, we should see something that looks a little bit like this. Now, this looks kind of random, but it actually does a lot. So what you're going to do is first you're going to break off these three long end pieces here of the redstone wires. You should have one that's off, on and one that's off. Now, what you want to do is you want to grab a torch, and just enable this bottom line once. Now, if you need to extend the signal with repeaters, then you can do that. Put re putting repeaters anywhere on any of these wires, it doesn't matter. And there's that. Now, this top wire is your output, so we're going to put a redstone torch on it, and this will go into a command block that simply says fixed. This will happen when the structure is built, and when the structure is destroyed, we will simply we just simply connect it to the wire, and it will say broken. And there you go, there's that. The final step is to co is to connect a clock to the command blocks. Now you can do this in any way you want, it doesn't really matter. But I'm going to use a hopper clock, so we're going to start by grabbing a repeater, a comparator, 
and two hoppers. This is pretty simple stuff. You should know how to do it, but I'll show you anyway. You're going to put your two hoppers facing into each other, put an item in one, and now you're done. You are ready to use your thing. So let's give it a tester. If we come down here, we break a block, and it will say broken. Fix it. And it will say fixed. And there you go. You can download the filter in the description, and if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, and of course, as always, maybe even subscribe if that's your thing. But there you go. As always, of course, well, bye now.